Hello fellow wargamers and hobbyists, uh, MJ Hobby Corner here, and today I'm going to present part two, episode two, of the super tank that I'm making for my games. Now this is a big vehicle, and that's that's what I wanted. I wanted something uh, that was exaggerated, you know, just big and, and whatever. So something like a Bane Blade, you know, which is a, a huge model compared to uh, the, the figures, right? That uh, in, the, in the 40K universe. So this is something similar, but I wanted to use uh, a one of the World War I, World War II uh, tanks in, in real life as inspiration. And so I chose the Char uh, 2B. I started with the Char 2B because it's shorter. And as I made this model, it became more like the Char 2C, which was a lot longer and a lot bigger. Uh, no, or Char 3C, sorry. The 3, uh, Model 3 was the big one. And uh, and then it went down to 2. Uh, and then there was a Char 2, uh, Char B, I believe, or something like that. There were various uh, models of, of this vehicle. But anyway, it was a big tank. Uh, and it was uh, produced in the 1920s and then went from 1920 to about 1940. Um, and that was it. So I took that as inspiration and then I changed things uh, as I was building the model just to fit my, my style and, and what I wanted. So here it is. Here. So to begin, uh, this is a photo of uh, me reinforcing the wheels. I used these little rubber uh, pegs that I had for the wheels uh, they just look good for that and this vehicle has very small wheels and lots of them so uh, that's why I chose such little um, components to represent the wheels now in order to uh, glue them to the vehicle I added uh, pieces of cardboard to reinforce them so had some contact cement, uh, cemented the wheels, and then added, in addition to that, some cardboard to really strengthen the wheels. And it, it really does, um, it's really useful to do this, to take the time to do this, even though it's tedious. Um, what happens is that uh, this reinforced the wheels quite nicely, even before I added the track. So, uh, of course, the track is also going to reinforce the wheels since the track is going to be glued over them. Uh, but it's really a good idea to reinforce all the pieces uh, that I can, you know, uh, uh, take the extra step, the extra time to do that so that um, things don't break off later, you know, especially after putting X amount of hours of work. So all of this stuff is down below the vehicle so it won't be seen and the tracks will be covering it. So here I'm drilling a hole in uh, the rear end of the vehicle so that I can add the rear wheels. And uh, they're interesting. You, you're going to see it uh, in the video uh, as we move on. You're going to see how those wheels were attached. Um, they have two little dowels that uh, go into the holes that I'm drilling. And so it's like two little support pegs. Now for the turret, this, this vehicle had two turrets, one secondary turret and a larger primary turret. And for the secondary turret here you see the base. And this is uh, a piece of foam that I, I showed in my previous video and I coated that with cardboard and that became, uh, the, the foam actually strengthens everything a bit and uh, it becomes the base for my secondary turret and that's what I'm showing here. So for my secondary turret I use this rubber piece from my junk box and then a metallic lid put the metallic lid under there and that's gonna become my turret uh, but I'm gonna add a few things to it and also I have to drill a hole with my Dremel into the metal piece so that uh and it's actually aluminum so it's very easy to drill and there it is there's the peg coming out of the aluminum piece and uh, it's nice and strong and i just glue all that together and this is going to become my secondary turret 
and uh, I'm gonna uh, add a few details to um, enhance it a bit okay so this is the bottom of the secondary turret And here I'm adding the guns and now I wanted it to look uh, something like a howitzer so I added two dowels one thinner than the other and then I'm gonna connect the two with a little bit of cardboard you'll see that in just a minute and um, but there it is the turret uh, is taking shape and and I really like the shape of this rubber piece that's why I chose it it was really cool And these tanks all had these kinds of turrets. Now, uh, here's the uh, howitzer uh, gun uh, in the rear. And you can see the cardboard piece that I'm referring to across the dowels. And that's a, a really uh, nice detail to have. And I may add another one, actually. I only added one, but I, I'll probably add a secondary one closer to the muzzle of the gun. So my turret is taking shape. And here is the whole turret assembly. I added a, a lid on top. It's like one of these uh, water bottle caps. And then on top of that, I have this tiny uh, lid from these uh, tubes that Julie saves for me. And uh, it looks just like a little hatch. And about the wording, I'll, I'll do something later to get rid of that. But I just love the shape of it. And, and there's the turret with a little bit of cardboard uh, framing the gun. And there is the turret. I'm going to probably add another little hatch on the side, like a little square hatch. So it'll have, uh, it'll have some detail. And there it is, the turret spins now and everything. And this is an earlier uh, frame, actually. There's a little bit out of, out of order, but you can see the wheels, how they're attached and everything. And now uh, I'm beginning to attach the tracks and I'm using uh, sections of corrugated cardboard. It just works great for these kinds of tanks. It's also a lot easier. So I do my track and sections and there it is. It's attached to all of the wheels that it's supposed to be attached to. And the tank is now taking shape. And I really like the shape of the char. Uh, you know, it, it, it's pretty interesting. It's an interesting vehicle for sure. So everything is taking shape. And uh, here I'm showing the lower wheels as the track runs through it. And I have a little bit of a shape to the track there. Give it a sense of motion. And now to hide my buttons, I use these pieces. They come from um, the spray bottle pieces. Oh, I'm sorry. They were from water bottles, actually. That's right. They were from water bottles. And I take them out. And I've been using them in a lot of projects. And they work great here to hide the buttons a little bit. So you see that it gives it a cool shape. Um, but also, even if the w uh, holes show on the buttons, I don't really care. It's just to hide uh, most of the button. And I'm gonna do that for the interior of the buttons as well. So this is the primary turret and I use a plastic container that I had, cut the bottom off, cut a hole into it. Okay, and, and that's what I'm showing here. And it has some really cool textures, too bad a lot of it is going to be hidden. And then for the gun, this is the guts of a spray bottle. Yes. Oh, I love using these. And now I've been collecting these because I, I am using these in a lot of artillery pieces. And then this was an early experiment with the turret. I did not like the way it looked, so I just left it. Uh, it's not bad. I mean, it has two, two hatches, but... Eh, so here I, I put a little bit of paint on, uh, push that up against the bottom of the turret so uh, the paint leaves an imprint and I know where to cut, where to drill that hole. And that's what I did here and then that uh, dowel goes right through the turret and the gun. 
and everything moves, everything is nice and smooth, works great. Okay, and here is my progress today. Uh, here are some Imperial Guard for scale. Uh, this is a massive, massive uh, fortress tank. And of course, this is going to carry troops. Uh, being this big, I will probably have it carrying troops. Here's a hatch, and I'm going to figure out how to cut into that to get, because there is foam in there, remember. But I'm going to figure that out, and I'm going to have a little hatch there. And, of course, troops would come out. Um, so, yeah, here it is. Uh, it, the tracks, uh, I love how the tracks come out. I have to finish this side now. Okay. But I put a lot of work into this today, and I think for today it's enough. Um, it has the smaller turret here with, like, a howitzer type thing. You know, that turns. And then we have the primary turret here. Uh, I love using these uh, spray bottle guts because they, they really do look like artillery pieces. Uh, I'm going to uh, dress up that uh, turret a little more and add some more details, but it is mounted on a metallic lid and it really spins well. The whole combination just, it's nice and smooth. So uh, this is not finished. First, I'm going to do something about the buttons here. Um, okay, that's what I did for the outside, so you can't really tell. And it, it gives it a nice look. I, I really do like it. Um, and then I got to fill the entire hull with detail. And there will be a lot of detail on this thing. So, all right, a lot of detail. So there it is. And I wanted the turret to look very, uh, oh, kind of the way these tanks, you know, uh, had them. They were very, uh, they weren't at all the sleek things that we see today in today's tanks. So I wanted to fit that whole World War I look to, to it, and uh, that's what I did. All right, so the, the detailing phase is next. And when I paint this thing, I'm going to muck up those tracks with some Vallejo um, effects. Uh, this is the environment effects. Uh, these are acrylic and it makes it look like grass and mud stuck to the, the tank there. And that's what I'm going to do for a few of those pieces. So uh, we'll continue in the next video and uh, certainly looks uh, promising and uh, see how it goes. For tomorrow, what's going to happen is I have to do all of the detail. And this is going to have a lot of detail. These machine guns here, I'm going to be uh, doing something with them. Okay, there is a machine gun well right underneath the track there. And that's based on the real char. Um, I'm going to be doing a little filing here and then start adding details to this front piece. A nice big chain here. Um... In the back, there's another piece that goes back here. It's going to extend the back just a little bit. And then uh, it'll have some hooks or something with some chains. Um, so I, I plan to go crazy with, you know, as much detail as I possibly can. And then, of course, we have to spray paint this. And once we spray paint this, the clearness of this material will go away. Uh, I will be doing some things, some details here on the turret. Um... And there has to be another weapon coming out of here or here. So we'll see. I think I have some extra Lehman Russ uh, water cannon bits. That I can maybe put one there. Um, and that's it. Completely done out of scratch. Uh, it's very, very sturdy. I'm very happy with the sturdiness of it. Uh, and there, just to give you a view of the, the little wheels. And that's I'm mimicking what, the, what I saw in the Char. And then the really big rear wheels and front wheels. I mean, this thing is just massive. And that's what I wanted. A, kind of a, an exaggerated super tank, you know. So, um, yeah. And this will be, be used in our games. Either as terrain or as a working model. Alongside our armies. And, of course, this can only play in a very large table. Which we do have. So... Yeah. All right. Thank you, folks.